hey, are you preparing for H2 entrance examinations? Do you know, uh, for our exam analysis, our, our viewers have got 80% common questions in BHU entrance examinations, and also uh, very common questions for IIT JAM entrance examinations. So our exam analysis is actually to follow. You can get 95% common questions for HU entrance examinations. And today in this video, we are discussing HU entrance for plant science. And with us today, Orko is here. Hi, Orko. Hi, Sam. Hi, everyone. So Orko is currently uh, pursuing his master's in uh, plant science uh, in Hathaway University. So he has a quite a lot of experience how to analyze the exam for HU, and he will help us to understand what's the topic I have to cover before going to entrance, and uh, what's the other tricks you can uh, apply to get the extraordinary ranks. Orko, can I request you to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I am Orko Pradhudikari. I am currently studying in MSc Molecular Microbiology uh, in third sem in University of Hyderabad. So I have done my BSc in Microbiology from Ramakrishna Mission Vidya Mandir, and Shyam actually is my junior from Chemistry. So uh, now I am studying here. That's it. Yeah, Orko, I just want to first know one thing that uh, we have got many questions about intake in HU entrance. How many students actually they take, and what about uh, the intake? Uh, so the actually uh, in our department, like uh, our department is a department of plant science. So here actually is just two course. One is your molecular microbiology, and one is your plant biology and biotechnology. So unfortunately in our department there is no integrated PhD course. So there are a total intake of 23 students in plant biology and biotechnology, and in molecular microbiology there are 15 students. And if you are uh, or anyone ask about the Division like general OBC, SPSC. So actually, there is no kind that kind of regulation here because uh, it actually varies from every year result. Yeah, and next, uh, I just want to know what's about the question patterns and uh, what about the marks distribution? How can I expect from? Uh, if uh, the question pattern is actually kind of almost similar in every year from 2010 to 2019. But I am not sure about this year because you know that this year the corona epidemic. So mainly this uh, examination is usually offline, and there are almost 100 questions. Total 100 questions, and uh, each question carries one mark. And uh, total uh, question set is divided in set one and set two, or set A and set B actually. So in the set A there are 25 questions, and set B there are 75 questions. Actually, they divided it into two because the reason is then that if uh, it comes in the tie, so they decide the rank holder from the question set A. So there are 25 plus 75 questions, and if you do any question wrong, so uh, minus uh, one by one third will be deducted from it will deduce from your total mark. So that's the question pattern both in plant biology and biotechnology, and also in the molecular microbiology. Uh, and what about the syllabus I have to cover, and uh, what's the main topic I have to focus on uh, for getting admission? Uh, you are asking about that. Actually, this is a question of a lot of, uh, I mean, lot many basic students who are appearing for any kind of life science entrance exam. But basically, the answer is that there is no particular syllabus for your uh, life science examination in any university. So when you are appearing for your MSc plan science in, my, uh, in University of Hyderabad, then you have to keep it in mind that you are appearing for plant science. So basically, there must be question from your plant biotechnology, plant anatomy, also plant physiology. So these are the some kind of main topics uh, they cover in the question of plant sciences. Whatever that is your plant biology biotech, or maybe your molecular. So, uh, when you are appearing for your plant science exam, uh, so there must be like questions from your plant biology, plant biotechnology, and also your uh, plant biochemistry. So, this your uh, plant biotechnology exam, you will find questions from your plant biotechnology mainly, plant anatomy, plant biochemistry, and also you will find questions from your like parts like uh, including photosynthesis, mainly from plant hormones. And not only that, there are also questions come from genetics, from molecular biology, 
and hardcore biochemistry like proteins carbohydrates and also lipids nucleic acid etc on the other hand you have already studied like recombinant technology that is your main portion of your biotechnology that also comes in your that um, plant biology exam so if you just consider the whole in a whole what are the main topics you have to cover for studying plant biology and biotechnology exam so i will recommend that you should cover your plant biotechnology plant biochemistry focusing mainly on photosynthesis respiration electron transport chain etc mainly on plant hormone and also your developmental biology regarding to your plant on the other hand you have to cover complete your genetic recombinant technology and the whole portion of your recombinant technology and also you have to cover little bit of plant systematics so here i am uh, saying the cover little bit of plant systematics because unfortunately in acu uh, plant biology exam they didn't give a lot of questions of plant systematics they give the questions in a tricky way like they have given one special example of your plant anatomical structure and they can ask that this structure belongs to which group of family or uh, which family or which genus that kind of question so you have to ha have a clear idea clear view all over through your plant systematics and your plant taxonomy etc so this kind of question comes here and that one thing uh, is very common in your plant biology and biotechnology exam that is your matching this matching actually comes like may come from your secondary metabolite um, they give you four three kind of secondary metabolites and they give you a matching and you have to match all those things sometimes they give the name of the scientist the thing which is most ignored by us what i think history really matters because you are studying something and then you have to know what's the history behind that and history really matters and if you are appearing for ac exam then you have to remember all the scientists names so this all about your plant biology and biotechnology exam and if you are coming here for your molecular microbiology so the scenario is not much different but yeah there is some difference because that's the microbiology question so here when you are appearing for molecular microbiology i would rather say the most important part for molecular microbiology exam is your microbiological physiology microbial biochemistry microbial biochemistry also is associated with your respiration glycolysis krebs cycle etc but uh, regarding your molecular microbiology the microbial physiology and your bacterial cell structure specifically the cell wall and cell membrane structure are much um, important compared to your uh, other things um uh, other than that the biochemistry questions comes a lot in your molecular microbiology questions and also your um recombinant dna technology that i have also told you on plant biology but uh, i again told in the previously in the plant biology the history matters so you will also get questions from scientists and they can give you for matching like uh, which scientist discovered which in my case when i appeared for the 2019 so i got that kind of questions from uh, history that who discovered that who discovered then they give math and if you can memorize the name you can easily uh, you can easily score uh, one mark for one question and they give lot of matches and uh, frankly speaking if you are appearing for molecular microbiology you have to have the basic concept of the bacterial cell wall structure bacterial morphology because they are very important when you are focusing for your uh, molecular microbiology question so in a basic if i summarize then you have to focus or cover your genetics recombinant dna technology microbiology syllabus which you study in your bsc grad in in colleges and also your biochemistry but but if you want to skip your ecology and in um, evolution that's okay they do not give a lot of question from that and what they give you can crack easily from your basic concept but if you are thinking that there is no question comes from plant biology in your molecular biology in your molecular microbiology question then you are uh, wrong because the department is plant science so the question actually comes 
yeah i know that's an unfortunate because who doesn't have any concept after 12 about botany or a lot of students actually hate the subject because of the systematic and a lot of things but you have to know the basic physiological uh, physiology mainly photosynthesis and your plant anatomy regarding the structures of flower your pollen grains uh, the pollen grains uh, structure and also your uh, fruit structures your root shoot you have to have the basic idea of your plant anatomy that's the all scenario of your syllabus which you have to cover or you have to focus for your plant science exam yeah nice uh, so orko as you were saying that you have some super tricks to crack each exam what is that ah uh, if you are yeah the trick is behind that what i i will suggest everyone that the previous year question because uh, that the actual tricks of any kind of question um, you know, question here when you are attending any exam uh, is uh, the jam or jnu uh, uh, any uh, university you are appearing in india but i will suggest this for h2 specifically because there is reason uh, when you are attending or when you are just uh, uh, watching the question of previous year from 2010 to 2019 the uh, whole question is in, your, in the website you will get like kind of uh, repeat like in every year they doesn't change the pattern uh, frankly speaking hsu exam is too much informative frankly speaking you uh, hardly find any kind of conceptual question so if you have that kind of information gathered within your brain you really can crack it but if you don't have so you have to try like if you just view the previous year questions you will get that idea for cracking what's the uh, mystery and cracking in it because if you just study the previous year questions then you will come to know what are the topic actually they are covering i have told here that they are covering this 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 actually i have um go through i have gone through every year question papers before my exam and that's the thing what i always tell my junior or always i tell my friends that that may be the reason i have cracked that because i have that basic idea from where they give the question so uh, actually i know that the the from where the questions they give and i was lucky uh, that's one, also one thing and i will always suggest that you have to study pathfinder license book whatever this is csr net whatever that is your jam your uh, jnu your hsu you have to have study pathfinder syllabus because i know that during your study time and during that time when you are in corona epidemic you know uh, so the focus can be deviated so if you just study the pathfinder book that will be really useful for cracking any kind of exam yeah. uh, pathfinder book can be used for research uh, research purpose Uh, no, 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 not that because. Uh, but if you are really targeting after your MSc the CSR ne- CSR net exam, I will definitely suggest that you have to study the Pathfinder book because the two black books actually cover the whole topic of your CSR net syllabus in a gist, and you didn't find any kind of questions, or rather find two or three questions beyond the uh, topics you covered already in Pathfinder book. So I will definitely suggest to study that book. Yeah, I'm just joking. Yeah, I have heard from many friends that Pathfinder is a really uh, good book and that is useful for as for JE also for CSI and NEET and many other cross right. exams. And also next, just I want to know last thing that was the cut off uh, marks. What I have to. Uh, uh, yeah, actually the thing is I didn't know about the cut off. No one knows about the cut off because you will not get the mark when you are just. Uh, being admitted or when you will see your name you will be delighted to think that i have been selected in acu but the thing is you will not not know you are not knowing the cut of them because they didn't publish or um, they didn't give the list where they give the ram- numbers they only give your name you are being selected so in the case of your plant biology they select like in a main list and waiting list there are a lot of things in acu other, other departments some departments like chemistry economics they get provisional merit list like a lot of students in one list who will come first and according to the list they will be admitted but in our case in plant sciences there are in, in both plant biology and biotech and also in molecular microbiology they actually have their main list and waiting list so in main list you will find 23 people named in 
plant biology and 15 people named your molecular microbiology we only give the name so when you are admitted and you have survived in hcu uh, for two months then you, the university website on, will give the marks in your portal and then you will come to know but what i can suggest for safety you will target to score at least within 50 to 65 within 100 because in my case i almost scored like 46 to 47 and um, that who scores um, most uh, i mean uh, was the topper in exam of my molecular microbiology he scored like 50 and in case of plant biology and biotechnology he scored c he scored actually 55 so you can focus like uh, if you just um, if your goal is like 50 to 65, then I will say you will definitely crack it. Yeah, Argo, anything I'm missing? Any more important things I'm missing? Uh, yeah, no, nothing, nothing. Everything is, I, I think everything is covered here. And obviously, best of luck for the students who are appearing for HQ. That's it. Yeah, well, that's all actually for HU entrance exam analysis. So if you still have any questions, you can just directly mail to Argo. We will put his mail ID or contact number. Uh, I sorry mail id and you can also uh, i i suggest you to uh, make comment in our comment box and that is actually helpful for him also to give answer very quickly and uh, argo thank you very much for sharing uh, sharing with us your information and your strategy thank you shan for you have given me the opportunity so that i have done. thank you yeah yeah, thank you very much. And uh, we have more and more videos on IT Jam, how to crack gate, how to crack CSI and biology. That's the most. Mm -hmm.